I would. I um, uh, I love New York, and I go out there, and I'll be out there, and um, I absolutely would um, uh, love to work with uh, New York actors. And my my home base, where I'm from, is Chicago. I work with a lot of Chicago actors. I also do a lot of marketing seminars at different colleges across the country. So, you know, even for me, uh, it's really about letting people know uh, what I do as far as my business. But uh, you know, there are two places I feel that I truly can be as far as uh, an act, acting mentor or an acting coach. Which and those are the you know the two sides of the of the country, which is L.A. Uh, and New York. So uh, yeah, I absolutely love New York and, and welcome that opportunity. Yeah, they can always go to my website. That's always the best place to start, which is www.thecastingplayhouse.com. Um, you know, on there I put down the latest news as far as whether or not you know there's a client that gets called back or is booking or if I'm doing uh, a speaking engagement of some kind. So that's always the best place to to go first. Uh, I. They are very enthusiastic uh, as far as going to a, a, you know, a small town and I, I come in with my marketing the actor seminar and you know unfortunately there's a lot of schools, a lot of colleges out there that really don't focus in on the film TV industry. Uh, so I feel like you know, when I get the opportunity to go to a college or go to a school and give them all this information as far as you know how to brand yourself what what the big industry is like how to walk into a theatrical audition uh, I feel like the audience is extremely uh, pleased with you know with the seminar and when they walk out um, you know some people have, have told me it's the best class they ever took in college uh, which is very flattering to me but on the other side it's really important and you know school is so important uh, but it's it's so important to have the information when I graduated college I didn't know anything about LA I moved a week after I graduated and I had no idea what I was doing so it's important to know as much as you possibly can uh, before coming out here but uh, it's been an extremely receptive crowd going into you know any any talk whether it's at AFTRA or SAG or going to a different college it's just about inf having the information and, and knowing what's right. Yeah I, I tell all of my clients that you want to make sure that anything you put on a reel anytime you're going to be showing you know the people that really make the decisions the casting directors um, you know the producers the director you got to make sure that your reel is great and what I mean by that is with any job if you're showing them a poor product it's gonna make you look like a uh, like you don't know how to run your business so you know treating yourself even though you are an actor and you like to perform the most important thing is making sure that you're representing yourself and your company in the best possible light. So with demo reels, I tell actors it shouldn't be any more than four minutes. Your best stuff should be first because most cast casting directors won't finish your reel. Um, if you've got a lot of drama and a lot of comedy and then a lot of commercials, eventually you're going to split that up and have uh, you know a couple of different reels so you'll have a drama reel then a, a comedy reel and then a commercial reel if you don't have a lot of material you're gonna combine them uh, but your best stuff should be first and again what you're showing people is representative of who you are as a person and who you are as a company so if you do 20 student films and the 21st student film is the only great quality great work that you've done that you're gonna put on a reel uh, make sure that's what gets on there and not something just you don't want to put something on your reel just because you've done it. If it's not great, leave it off.